as our nation returns closer to pre-pandemic life. Tonight, the Delta variant is COVID's most serious threat, the most dangerous strain so far, now contributing to a rise in infections in eight states. Just while 65% of adults are at least partially vaccinated, the Delta variant has now been detected in nearly every state and is gaining a stronger foothold in regions highlighted here with low vaccination rates. Those most in jeopardy are children under 12 who can't yet get vaccinated. So our goal as a unified team for 2021 is to help students make up for learning loss due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We understand that with almost an entire school year of distance learning, so we wanted to help students learn from our experience and help patch any of the holes or in your uh, comprehension from schools or to just kind of help you further your um, understanding of certain topics. And secondly, our second goal is to inspire future generations through a variety of perspectives through our boundaryless program. So what we mean by boundaryless program is that since everything is online, we are able to network a lot further than we would have normally been able to in a regular year. So we have students from Canada, from different countries that are willing to put in time and effort to teach children or to inspire other children kind of informal is important because the teachers definitely don't want me to get bored in his or her class, right? So I think you did pretty well. Like, um, you know, you sound more relaxed compared to when you first did. And I think next time, uh, I think it's up to you to kind of post in the mall. Maybe you're just going to have We were considering like some other harder stuff like keys and major and minors and stuff like that. But yeah. And then we thought no because it's like, we thought it was too hard. I think the stuff that you guys ended up putting was actually really like, how do I say? It was easy to digest for like, cause it was like basically like the beginning stuff. So I think the information that you ended up putting out was like super, super appropriate. Hello everybody. My name is Alex Chomet and I'm a rising senior at Harvard College, originally from a suburb of Houston, Texas called Sugarland. And I study neuroscience on the pre-med track. So I hope to be a physician, although I'd like to take a few years between the end of college and the beginning of med school um, to travel abroad. Um, but yeah, with Future Bridge, I'll be coaching the Youth Leadership boot, boot Camp. Youth Leadership Boot Camp is for um, everybody who wants to volunteer with Future Bridge to have an opportunity to think more critically about the defining moments on our lives um, from start to finish that can help us all live a bit um, more of a fulfilling life, especially as we think about both our professional aspirations and our core values that um, really guide the day-to-day -day decisions that we make on a daily basis. A pretty famous podcaster called Ira Glass, and he has a uh, famous quote where he talks about when people do creative things, in the beginning, you're just not going to like what you do because the vision you have is not going to match the skills you have, that's a given. But don't let that stop you from just continuously doing things because the more you do things, eventually your skills will catch up to your vision. Wonder child of, uh, of WTW just because I'm kind of blowing people away with knowledge of the software that that is out and trying to utilize all the things I see in the YouTube videos and all that and implement it into the workflow. You know, what I wanted to achieve because I think had I gone straight into medical school, it just sort of been, you know, school after school, you know, test after test, class after class. Um, and it's, it's hard to see the finish line. It's hard to see like why you're really doing all this. 
Um, and you know, when you work for you know, either a big company or, or or just you have you have responsibilities that are not only to yourself but to you know, the company, to your clients, you realize that okay, um, this is something that um, I I have to you know I have to hold myself to a high standard. I have to you know do this work, and this work can help people. This work can impact others. Um, so having that sense of of real world impact, I think, was like really uh, key for me, um, and it's something that um, I would personally encourage other people to to think about. Here at Future Bridge, I've learned a lot about public speaking and stepping out of my comfort zone, um, teaching and speaking to a large group. I've also learned a lot more about solving problems on the spot and like. I would say start figuring out why you want to go to college. Like college isn't the end game. So I hear a lot of students and parents having a mindset of, oh, if I do this, will I get into college? And it's like, sure, but also why? <laughs> like if it weren't for college, what like bigger skill would you be learning that would help you achieve um, the goal you want after college? And I think that's something that Future Bridge actually mentions a lot, which is finding that intersection between passion, talents, and values. At the beginning, he told me, Mom, I'm not qualified to teach. And then he just now told me, yes, you're good, you can do it. That I think that, that's really helpful. When I told him, so you got to trust yourself, he, he didn't listen to me well, but he listened to Ijin very well. So Ijin like a big sister to him. This summer opportunity, uh, I think it's, uh, it's awesome. Uh, and then this, this is very precious for the kids when they grow up. But helping others, they grow themselves. So um, very nice organization, very, very nice intention. Or, or the whole vision of this organization is pretty nice. Thank you.